Hi guys, General Mathematics Unit 1 is made up of three topics and topic one is consumer arithmetic. Now that consists of all of these points here that you can see on the screen and basically if you're able to do each one of these points you have covered all of topic one. Everything in the exam, everything in the assignment for topic one will only come from this. So we'll go through these and in this video we're going to look at this part here which is calculate weekly or monthly wages from annual salary. Okay, so let's get into that. So your annual salary is what you get paid for one whole year. So say for example your annual salary is $10,000 and you want to calculate your weekly wage from that. So your weekly wage is what you get paid weekly. And one year is made up of 52 weeks. So your weekly wage will be $10,000, which is your annual salary, split into 52 weekly payments. So to split it, we need to divide it by 52. So your each payment will be 10,000 divided by 52, which is $192.31. Now the second part of this is calculating your monthly wages from an annual salary. So the same thing, you have to remember that there are 12 months in one year. So to get your monthly payments, we need to split your annual pay into 12 monthly payments. And we can do that by dividing 10,000 by 12. And that gives us our monthly payment of $833.33. Okay, so that is all this section or this part of the bullet point is about. And now we can look at some examples just to solidify this knowledge. So let's look at a simple familiar question first. So James earns, let's zoom in. James earns a salary of $81,120. How much does he receive per week? So this is a annual salary. So if you want to find the weekly salary, well to do that we need to do annual salary divided by 52 because there are 52 weeks in a year. So that will be 81120 divided by 52 and that gives us One five six zero. So his weekly pay is going to be one five six zero. Okay, let's look at part B. His fortnightly pay. All right. So a fortnight consists of two weeks, and there are 26 fortnights in a year, which is also half of, so 26 is half of 52, as two weeks make up one fortnight. So we'll just write that down here. So we can say one year is made up of 26 fortnights. So to get your pay fortnightly, we will have to do your annual salary So let's write that down as a part of the working. So it's always good to write this down, um, this first section, because it shows that you know what you're doing. That you to get the answer, you need to divide your annual salary by 26. So even if you do make a mistake later on in your working, you're still getting marks for the first part because you knew what you were doing. 
All right, so let's work that out. So that is 3120. Right, so let's do part C, which is per month. So there are 12 months in a year. So to get what you're going to receive in a month, we've got to do annual salary divided by 12. Oops, divided by 12, that's going to be 6760 every month. This is every fortnight. All right. So let's look at the next question. So this is also a simple familiar question. So Sarah earns a weekly salary of $825. What is her yearly salary? All right. So again, as we know, there are 52 weeks in a year. So that means if she's getting a weekly salary of $825, she's going to be paid that 52 times in a year. So her yearly salary will be made up of $825 times 52. That gives us Forty two thousand nine hundred. Okay. Right, let's look at question three. So this is a complex familiar question. Um so that is a bit more difficult than simple familiar. So Annie has a weekly salary of 1238. Aldrick has a monthly salary of 5005. Calculate each person's annual salary. Who gets a higher salary and by how much? All right, so in questions like these, we want to first find individual salaries. So let's begin with Annie. So Annie's annual salary. Remember, annual means yearly. So she's getting paid 1238 weekly. So her annual will be 1238 times 52, which is 64,376. Now, Eldrick is getting a monthly salary of 5,005. So to calculate Eldrick's annual salary, we need to times it by 12, as there are 12 months in a year. It's going to be 5,005 times 12. That is 60,060. Now looking at this, we know that Annie's getting a higher pay. So let's just see by how much. So we can do six, 64,376 minus 60,060. That's it, so for answering this, we'll say any gets four thousand three hundred sixteen. Oh, we can say any 
has a higher salary. by $4,316. All right, now let's look at a possible complex unfamiliar question. So complex unfamiliar questions require you to use the knowledge that you've learned and apply it to an unfamiliar context. So let's look at this question. Hannah's salary is $97,344 per annum. She calculates her weekly salary by dividing 97,344 by 12 to get her monthly salary and then dividing the answer by 4 to get her weekly salary. What ans uh, answer does she get? Explain why Hannah's answer is incorrect. Okay, so let's see what answer she gets first. So first she divides it by 12 to get her monthly salary. That is 8112. Then she divides this, the answer by 4, to get her weekly salary. So that's Hannah's answer. Now we need to explain why this is incorrect. Well, her answer assumes that there are four weeks in each month. So therefore, there are 12 times 4, 48 weeks in a year. So to get her answer, she's divided her annual salary by 48 weeks. But we all know that there are 52 weeks in a year. So that's why Hannah's answer is incorrect. So we can write that down. Hannah's answer is incorrect because her Answer assumes there are 48 weeks in a year, when in reality, there are 52 weeks. If you want to give uh, a more complete explanation, you can also write, so she should divide her annual salary by 52 to get the correct answer instead of dividing by 48. And just um, so this answer would be enough, but just for sake of completion, uh, we can say that then the correct answer is 97344 divided by 52 which is 1872 okay so now we have covered this section of topic one if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comments and i will get to them 
and um, I will see you back in another video to cover rest of these topics. Thanks for watching. Bye.